Hey there, my name is Forrest Stevens and today I'm going to be giving you a walkthrough of my minivan camper conversion and everything that it entails. So this van that I have right here is a Dodge Caravan 1999. So there it is for all of you to see in all of its glory. It's a big purple, we call it the great van. If anybody watches uh, Workaholics. We call it the, the Grape, with a G, van. Alright, yeah, let me show you the inside. So inside we've got a futon mattress that, I'm not sure, I think it's a twin or a double or something like that. But anyway, it fits two people and a cat and some gear on the sides. Pretty comfortable. So right now we just have the sheets off, we're just washing those, we're getting ready for a trip. Um, so the minivan itself, it's got a couple cup holders here. And it's got windows that go out. It's got some storage, which is nice. And on this side, it's got something really nice. It has, I don't know if you can, yeah, there we go. Uh, that is a 12 volt electricity hole. So we plug little USB, uh, a little USB charger, I'll show you. <laughs> I just had it up front. We've got this, so it's just a little inverter that is a USB car charger, and you just plug it in there. Now we've got electricity in the back, uh, just for charging small devices, and we have a little rock, lo uh, Himalayan rock salt lamp that we put on at night, or anything else like that. Um, so as you can see behind me, we've got curtains, and on both sides, and we also built one that we just hang in the middle to kind of portion everything off. Uh, I'll show you the bed frame. So here's the bed frame. It's got a hole in the side here, uh, just so that this is all our camping stuff that we use, tents and things like that. We just pull that out. This is a bag of shoes. And then this pops right up and that's extra storage that we haven't packed yet. It's a pretty stable frame. Uh, it's all made by half inch plywood and I have a build video as well. So check that out if you need to know how to build a frame for your minivan. So that's underneath. We haven't packed everything in there yet. And we just put this little beam in the middle to support it. But when everything's in there, that's also supporting it a little bit. Uh, we have you know, things we need for uh, like different oils and things that go, fluents that go in the van in case. We have a, an extension cord, jumper cables, lots of ratchet straps. So these are all things that are pretty good. So this is some, some dry goods, pots and pans. Up top we've got dishes and cutlery. And usually we just throw, you know, cereals and, and granolas and things that we use every day in there as well. So this just is going to be packed away, but essentially we've got a little cooler that we put here and we put, you know, some yogurt and some vegetables and things like that. And then we've got a, a water jug, this water jug here. That's what we, we place here and we just fill that up at places. So another thing is we, in the back here, we have, um, we have a cook stove that we take out and we're able to put that uh, usually just, you know, can slide this around or go to a park bench or something. And we cook our meals with propane on the little camp stove. And underneath here, I'm going to be, I'm going to be building a cabinet in the back here. That's pretty much all of this in every compartment fits properly. Um, but it also has a big door that'll come down. And then that door becomes a table that you can cook on while being protected by this roof here from the rain or whatever. This is the other side and this side is open on this because we store our cat's cat litter in there in the daytime. Right now it's just got that storing in there. All right, so up here we have the charging station. I'm just putting this solar panel back in. I took it out for a while just because it creates a little bit of wind resistance, but it's a 40 watt. Poly Voltec, and I have another video opening and hooking this up. I'm just not going to show you guys how to hook it up in this video. 
but anyway, so I'm going to be reinstalling this just so that we have um, something charging the battery at all times, well, whenever there's sunlight, and uh, you know, we won't run into dead batteries because we use the battery at nighttime for lights and computers and charging and what, ha what have you. So that's the one part of the charging station, and the other part. So at nighttime, I throw this on the roof, and then when I wake up in the morning, there's usually, you know, an hour or two of sunlight charging this. So I like to think that this purple van here absorbs a lot of heat and shoots it back into this, as well as this being black heats the water. And it actually works quite effectively. It's got this crappy little nozzle that sprays up. So you know, I tie it to this or whatever, and then I just flip it down, kind of like that. So this is dangling down, and I just shower right beside the van. It's got a door protecting me, you know, and then I can... This is the solar area up on the top of the roof. So we've got a shower and we've got electricity. So let me show you a couple little other little things. It's obviously the front of the van. We've got this little um, compartment thing that we built. These are just some little baskets from a dollar store. This is going to be all for kind of daytime stuff. This is all electronics. So in here we've got some walkie-talkies, um, GPS. This is a 300 watt inverter so we can charge our laptops, things like that. Um, some cords. And this is a garbage bin that we usually put a bag in. And these are road maps. That's pretty much the whole, the whole thing. I hope you enjoyed my video of the tour of the camper, the minivan camper. And when I update it, there'll be more videos of it being updated and new construction builds on it and things like that. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.